me injured. And right now, I'm at Mr. Stokes' conference shop. And I want to let y'all know that. Oh, really? We're not going to the boys. I already got permission to come in and talk to him. So, we're going to talk to him. Oh, Jacob. Wait, you know him? Yeah, my homie. Come here. So. Yeah. Take care of yourself. I'm trying. I really am. Oh, you do. Yeah. It's just a lot that's been going on. I'm sure. Yeah. A lot, just a lot of more stuff has been happening. A lot of what? There's a lot of more stuff has been happening. No, it's not. Uh, it's just been a lot of bad stuff, really. Yeah. Like, I had, I was doing fine because I was dating this girl, and then, like, it was fine, but then, like, her parents, you know, it just made her, made her break up between everything, and then, it's just stuff, it's stuff going on. Her parents made her break up with you? Yeah, they, because they turned out, they turned, it turned out them not liking me and everything, and I don't, I don't know why. It's just, yeah. Then you move everything around. Hello? How long were you guys dating? We were dating for four months. I, I, I thought I could have made it last a little longer, but then her parents made her do it. And then, you know, then I was just, I was just, I was a mess after that. I, I was a mess after that for maybe about three months. And it's, it's, been, it's been tough because I hadn't been seen her at my school and everything. And, you know, seen her with her new boyfriend, but I've been, I've been talking to Crystal. She's been getting me through things. Wait a minute. She broke up with you and got a new boyfriend right away? Yeah, I know. That's, that's the crazy thing. Right? It's like she didn't, it's like she got over it just like that. It took me a while to get over it. But Crystal's been there helping me. You know, she's been telling me what to do. She's been, she's been saying that uh, I was too good for her and everything. And I, I heard Zach say that, um, that I was too good for her. You know, everyone's been telling me the right things. And is it helping? Yeah, it's helping. Like, at first, whenever it first happened, I, I just I just didn't know what to do with myself. And then I talked to my cousin Trey, who was from Florida, then he then he told me everything to do. He, he said that girls ain't nothing. And then he said that they that they are they are stripping and stuff. And then um, I was talking to Crystal about it. And I was talking to Zach, and now I'm, now I'm over it. Just trying not to think about it anymore. I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to take time for myself. That's smart. Yeah. Because I, because I know that if I, if I get back into it, I'm just gonna get hurt again. I just need a, need a long time nowadays. Well, you're still young. Like you're what? I'm 15. I'm 14 and a half. 14. Yeah. You got your whole life ahead. Yep. So you don't have to rush into stuff. Just take your time. Yeah. I know. think that's the big problem is that people try to rush into it. Like whatever I get, like whenever I'm planning on dealing with it, whenever I get a permit, I was going to try to come down here more often. Like yeah, I've been busy. I've been trying to come down here a lot, but 
whenever like I get a permit and everything, I was gonna try to come down here more often. Or drive down here. It's just I don't know, it's just really hard. I've also had my friend Austin helping me out a lot too. Austin Drevis. You know him? Austin Drevis. I got a picture of him. So I went I went to the beach with him and his family. Oh that's cool. Yeah, yeah that's him. You know him? I thought so. Yeah. 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 It, it was good. <laughs> I was I'm actually gonna be going going over there next week. But I've just I've just been trying I'm just trying to light love for myself and just focus on high school right now. Also smart. Because I've been getting good grades in high school. You've been getting good grades? Yeah. I actually got a picture of my grades too. I took a picture of my grades. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> See, those, those are my grades right now. Yeah, I know. It's because it's I've been... That's the best I've seen. Yeah, I know. It's because I've been laying low. Okay, so see, now you know what you need to do. Yeah. You're getting stressed out by all these relationships you keep jumping in and out of. Yeah, I just, I needed to talk to you because I know like, you've always been there to help me. Always. Yeah, you've always, like, you've always like, been there to help me. And I just thought you could do it again. Because, I don't know, like, I was thinking about going, I don't know, people just told me I needed therapy. I said, no, nah, I don't need therapy. It's just, I don't know. Well, sometimes talking to people can be therapy. Yeah. As soon as it happened, it's like she just got over it like in one day too. And then, then she was telling people, uh, I don't know, she was telling people other stories from what I know about how things happen. Yeah, she was like, she was saying, she was like, she told one of my friends that, um, that I threatened her I know that I was gonna go around the whole school. It's telling everyone that she was a hoe and stuff. But I, I said I would never do that. I said I loved her more than I said I loved her a lot, and then I would never do that to her. But, and a lot of people got mad at me since they heard that and they believed her over me. And so I just, I just said y'all can think what y'all want to think. I know what I know. I said I got my, I got my backup here. I got my friends that are. Helped me a lot. Huh? Nah. I mean, there's this. I was trying to help Crystal out with something, but then this old girl got mad at me for that, and then. You guys, you guys died. You guys used all 30 already? All 30, yeah. Holy crap. We, play, we were playing for about 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. 30 quarters could have lasted me like about two or three hours. I've, that's the first time I've ever, this, this is set. Yeah, but there was this one thing. I was trying to help Crystal out with something because this girl was like, oh. I didn't expect to see you today. I know, right? Because I was talking, I was texting him last night. I said I was going to come by here. But I didn't even know you came over here. Uh, yeah. My Mountain Dew. Yeah, but I was like, I was helping her out with something because like someone, people were like calling her a hoe and stuff, and then 
I, I was talking to the girl that did it, and then and she was like, she used to be my friend, but then she got mad at me for trying to help Crystal out, and she said, you know what? She said, if you won't, if you, she said, you can only have one best friend. I said, that's not even true, and then she got mad at me for trying to telling her to stop calling her home and stuff, and she got mad at me, and, that, and then that she's trying to turn the whole school against me. So um, I'm just. I'm just, I'm just sticking around with my friend Isaiah, and I'm sticking around with Curtis and Crystal right now. It's really about it. I'm sticking around with Jacob, too. And Jacob's, you know, he's cool. I don't know you knew Jacob. Yeah, I know Jacob. He's good. I'm just, I mean, everyone is like, has been there for me. And you have, too. I mean... I, mean, I remember back when I when I was dating Crystal. Whenever me and her broke up, that was a tough time too. But that's because it's because I've known her my whole life. But I've known I've only known Caitlyn. I know I've known Caitlyn since I was 11. But I've known Crystal for maybe nine years now. It's just and she's like my best friend too. Yeah, she's yeah, she, yeah, she's looking out for me. I'm looking out for her too. These people don't get it. I'm just trying to help her out. And I I told I told the girl I said that I just told her I said I want everyone to be happy and get along, but she didn't. I don't know. Then she she said it. Then my teacher asked me in class. She said, "What is one thing you want to get rid of out of school?" I said, "Get." I said, "Get rid of all the crazy people." And then, you know, that happened. And then she then she called on the she called on that girl. And then I don't know. Then she just said, "I don't want anything to do with Angie right now." I said, "I didn't even do anything." And she made me apologize. So I stood up and I said, "I am not sorry." And then she said, "Apologize for you, okay." And I said, okay, so I stood up, I said loud, I said, I am sorry for whatever I did. I was going to say I'm sorry for trying to help out a friend, but I didn't want any more drama to happen. So the girl made you apologize? Yeah, like, the teacher made me apologize. I said, but shouldn't she apologize for me? Because, like, she got, she got my best, she got my best friend Jameson on me, too, like, because the teacher made you apologize? Yeah, the teacher made me apologize for her being mad at me. I said, how, how should, why should I have to apologize for her being mad at me? I was trying to help out my best friend. And then whenever I was confronting her about it, she got my best friend Jameson with her too. And then, I know, I guess she was trying to get Jameson to fight me or whatever. I said, I know Jameson would never fight me because Jameson loves me as a brother and stuff like that. But it's just a whole lot of drama right now. Did you guys get your comic book? I'll give you a free comment. Um, people, people told me that when, whenever I first started dating her, people said that my life would like change and like my life would like get more bad and stuff. I, I never believed in my first, but now I know it because whenever I dated her, I put I, I put her more I put her before everything. And then, yeah, I put her before everything, and now more stuff has happened. And I don't know. If I could, if I could go back, I'm just like. Race things I'd, I'd probably make where I never dated her because because it, it's like it's funny like as soon as that happens she's already over it she's already got this new boyfriend and I said whatever so have you ever heard that old saying don't put all your eggs in one basket yeah so what that means is if you if you put all your eggs in one basket. And you drop the basket and you break all your eggs. Right? So if you, put, if you put some eggs in this basket and some eggs in this basket and some eggs in this basket, then when you drop one in the basket, you still got some eggs left. 
So relationships work like that. When you put everything you got into one relationship, when you put your whole heart into one relationship, and you neglect all your friends, and you neglect your family, and if that relationship doesn't work out, you got nothing left. That's why you don't put all your eggs in one basket. I've also heard that old saying, keep your friends closer, so keep your enemies closer. Hello, Hello, Jacob. Hello. Hello. What are drugs world doing today? Right, so I don't know. Go rubbish. What? Talking around people just about. Well, go. last night I saw him with some, I saw him with some beer and stuff like that. <laughs> so he's probably on a coke or something. He probably is. We just shit talking about it all the time. Bro, I swear Wi Fi is beautiful here. Let's go he's beat on, him. Let's go beat him. Up. He's on all sorts of drugs. Let's go beat him up. Beat a who? What? Who are we going to beat up? Uh, <laughs> my brother's a mess. Yeah, he's, he's, he's more than a mess. He's, he's more than a mess. He's just... Fuck. That's, that's the only word I can think of. Wait, which one? You got like 20 brothers. I got... I will. I will. will. Yeah, see, he's even a great. Yeah. I've, I've known Will for a while, and I've... Like, I was at saw how much weight he lost, like, in a, like, a period of a couple months. Yeah, I couldn't believe that. He went from being, like... 200 something pounds back, of like back when I like I was helping him out here, I showed him a picture really said there's no way it's Will. I said, yeah, it's Will. Yeah. What? <laughs> He's like, what? I used to, what? He's short down. It's like, wait, how old is Will now? He's 16. Yeah, I used to sub him. It's like, it's like he shrunk down. I forgot you sub. Do you still sub or you? Yep. You should sub at Eastern sometime. Yeah. They don't want me at Eastern. They don't want you at Eastern? Well, tell them. Man, that sucks. If you don't want to hear, you can, you can leave. Well, I'm not talking about the school itself. I'm talking about the students. Oh, the students don't want you to be. Me and Jacob will beat them yeah. up. We'll beat, we'll beat them up for you. Jacob. Monday. Monday we're going to beat them up. Why don't they want a, like, a comic book? Mr. Stokes is awesome. What? Mr. Stokes is awesome. Oh, yeah. I'm not the kind of I don't put up with that crap. Yeah, this guy's helped me through a lot of problems. I met, I don't know. Actually, I met you when you were still in Mevin, setting up in Zeeble. 